you guys. Welcome to Something Reborn Thursday. My name is Birgit Heffler and I am the owner and designer of Something From Somewhere, Organically Reborn Furniture and Decor. And I go live every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And I take an old piece of furniture and transform it into home decor. And then I take it into selling it into my website or my shop in Palm City, Florida. So if you guys love to see a vintage, one of a kind, farmhouse style, shabby chic, country chic videos, uh, make sure that you like and subscribe and share my channel, my YouTube channel, you subscribe and of course my Facebook page. So I'm trying something a little bit new today, so bear with me, I'm actually trying to uh, live stream from my phone and I'm doing this for the first time and be able to answer any questions that you may have on the computer so I have been explained how to and that's what I'm trying to see how it works um, so I think I just go here and uh, hopefully I find me and that's all I have to do. So bear with me. Let me double check really quick. Hi, Sergey. I think that's you there. And a few others of you. So, and if any of you know how to do this, please. I was told that I just go to my page, but I don't see anything happening. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, and there it is. So let's see, let me try one more time. I apologize. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sergey. I am trying to figure this out really quick, and the only way to do it is live. So that's why I'm trying to live stream here and find you on the computer and if not then I won't do it but I thought I could oh here it is do this I have no idea because now I see me but anyway you guys <laughs> let's see how this goes so I am taking today uh, this particular piece which was gifted to me by a girlfriend my friend Claudia and uh, let's see if she comes on uh, it's a beautiful vintage secretary's desk and I want to do a simple tutorial on 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 a one, really, I'm just going to do one uh, coat of paint, one color, uh, but I want to take you through the beginning and the end. I know that a few of you have just gotten started into uh, learning how to paint your own furniture, and I have given you already a few tutorials on how to do that. Um, so now what I want to do is take everything so far that I've shown you and put it all into one, and that would be using this piece over here. Hi, James. Welcome. Hi. So let's see, I am trying to understand how to do the live stream here and answer questions on my computer and I don't know if I've got this right yet. But uh, hi Ann, welcome Ann. I don't know what's happening on my computer side but I hope you guys can see me here. And um, what I wanna show you today is really put the whole, whole painting uh, together from beginning to end and I'm going to be using this secretary's desk a very cute piece I'm, if you guys see me a little bit far it's because I wanted to be able to uh, show you the whole piece it's got really long thin legs um, it opens here and it's a little you know desk one of those desks it has this really cute detail over here so I want to use a one color um, by Country Chic with, uh, which I have chosen I'll show you now and take it from beginning to end. This may be a two-part uh, live, and today we'll do part of it, and then we'll continue next Thursday. But I wanna show you from the beginning, from cleaning it, to painting it, to doing something here in the details with wax, uh, to 
to obviously sealing it and um, finishing the piece so that you guys can really uh, have an idea what it entails, okay? Awesome. So, cool, cool. Hi, Anne, thank you. Are you guys hearing me well? Are you cool here seeing me on the, on the screen right now, um, live? And uh, I hope that if you have any questions for any reason, I don't answer you right away. I'm trying to understand. I know you're a bit far, so because I wanted you to see the piece. And I'm not really um, know if watching, you know, being able to answer you on the computer is right on cue right now. So bear with me, but I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have, okay? And if not now, at the end of the, of the, of the video. All right, so I want to show you first the one incredible thing that I, I find it to be just great you are cleaning naturally and that will be the hardware i took out the hardware already from this piece and i want to show you how i clean them i use only vinegar so what i do is i take a little jar and i fill it with just white vinegar and then i take the pieces the hardware off any piece of furniture and i leave it overnight and then when i come in the morning i buff it with a dry uh, you know, cloth, and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna bring it closer to you. I wanna show you the before and after. So this is the original. Hi James, how are you? Hi, welcome. So this is the original, the hardware that was on. Hi Sally. And I poured, I left it overnight. I wanna say like there's two of these. So one of these I took and poured it overnight and left it in a, in a jar with vinegar, just pure vinegar. And then when I came back this morning, I just buffed it and look at the color, you guys. See how beautiful? Like the natural bronze color of it came out. And this was just with vinegar. Look at the difference. So no chemicals, nothing. If you want to keep like the hardware natural, you know, in its own vintage without painting it, of course, painting is another story, but if you just want it naturally, just leave it overnight in vinegar and then buff it the next day with a dry cloth and it's beautiful. All right, cool. All right. So let me show you what you're going to need in order to you know, do this piece today. So we're going to use a oval brush. This is one of my favorites. It's a synthetic. It's great for um, clay, uh, really any kind of chalk paint, but it just uh, is one of my favorites I work with. It's by Paint Pixie. It's called uh, Create, number 10. Um, the color I'm going to use is Dune Grass, and I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna paint the whole piece in this color first, dune grass. It's a beautiful kind of minty, you guys can see here. I am sorry, I didn't take the price off. Kind of like a very soft green, green bluish tone. It's called dune grass. Can you guys see there? Is there so much light? Dune grass, anyways, you can tell. But now, and then the inside, my idea was when we get to that, to do the crinoline, like to paint the inside in a different color. And this is one of my favorite white. It's like a grayish white tone. I thought it would look really beautiful. You're gonna need a wooden stick, a sanding sponge, it's fine grit 220, preferably. And I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. And then at the end, we're going to use clear coat, also by Country Chic. This is what's gonna seal the piece. The white wax that we previously used in the last video, and I showed you how to use it. We're gonna use it to do the detail here. So I wanna take you from the beginning, from, you know, from cleaning it, to painting it, to doing some detail with the white wax, to sealing it. Um, and I think that should give you a overall idea what to do when you first get a piece and you want to get started and that's really what this tutorial is all about for a beginner that wants to start from beginning to end all right so let's see 
If you guys have any questions, please, okay, go ahead and ask me. I think I got this going now. So um, I'm able to see it closer here. All right, you guys. Very, very, very important, like I always uh, repeat in every video, but I will again, every time you start a new piece, it's very important that you prepare the piece before you start painting, especially when you're doing vintage pieces of furniture, old pieces of furniture. Whatever um, the people that live there, if they smoked, uh, anything, any types of oils that maybe could have been spilled on them, it stays in the grain of the wood. And if you don't clean it well when you paint, especially if you're using lighter colors, the darker you can still get away, but lighter colors have a tendency to bleed through and it looks awful, it starts turning yellow. Okay, so you wanna avoid that. So in order to clean it very well, many people have their own techniques. Um, I, of course, you know, as you guys know, that's why it's organically reborn. I like to use natural products. I have a sugar scrub by Frenchy, um, Frenchic, um, which was a brand that I carry, but I'm no longer carrying anyway. Um, I am now using, and I love it actually, it's just vinegar and water. So what you wanna take is a spray bottle and pour some vinegar and water, and then you just spray the piece and you clean it very thoroughly. After you have cleaned it with the vinegar, just with a wet cloth, you can always just kind of like wash over it and go over it again, just you know to make sure it's all even and cleaned out to take out any dirt, any debris, you know, any anything that may have stuck or dirt, you know, on the piece. Okay. So always clean it. I already did this piece on the outside, so I'm not necessarily gonna do it. But again, you know, just a spray bottle. You guys just. Spray it and clean it, wipe it off with a cloth, and then you can take it into water and then just clean over it again, just to make sure it's really, really nice and clean, okay? Hi, Bonnie, how are you? Welcome. All right, so that is preparing the piece, and I've already showed you the products that you need, so we are really just going to start um, painting. So. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I love to use the Contra Chic because it's a clay base paint and it's really a paint and go. There's really no prep, no priming, no sealing, nothing that you need to do. I, of course, like to always do a little bit on my pieces. Um, one thing I wanna repeat again. So why I brought this up, the sanding paper 220, fine grit. If you find the piece to have any kind of, you know, a little bit of rupture or, or scratches and you want to even it out, it's always a good thing to use a little bit. You don't have to really scratch off really hard. Just just a little bit to kind of even things out. It's always just a good practice. So I totally recommend it. I didn't do much in this piece because it's pretty nice. It's in great shape, good condition. There's a little bit up here. I don't know if you can see it on the top. But just to do a little bit of the sanding, it goes a long way and it evens any, any grooves or anything that you may want to um, you know, smooth out so when you paint, you don't see like any kind of holes or any breaks in the wood. All right? So this is why I said you may need a sponge, a uh, sanding block. Uh, this is a 220. You can get it this way or I use this for my sanding, um, you know, the machine that I have, but I actually enjoy doing it by hand most of the time, so it makes it easy this way. This is a trick of the trade. You just get the sanding block and you can like just wrap it around and sand, you know, manually instead of having to use the machine, okay? So let me just again just a damp cloth and if you sand it in those areas just make sure that you grab a you know wet cloth and just kind of go over it and clean it off so you don't have any sandy residue on the paint just clean it off all right Hello, Christopher, how are you? Thanks for being here, you guys. It was awful today. I mean, just, just a few minutes before going live, I'm in Florida, and so as you guys come in also, please, please, please let me know where you're from, where you're watching from. I always love to know what areas 
you are or what parts of the world. But uh, I'm in Florida and Palm City and just before going live, I was like, oh my God, this, is, this weather here is so wild. It's like beautiful and clear and all of a sudden it starts getting dark and you just pour down this crazy amount of water. So uh, it's now clearing out a bit. And uh, I'm at a warehouse. My shop is a warehouse workshop studio setting. So if I have to close the warehouse door down, I die. I mean, I have a fan, you probably can hear it in the back, but it gets very humid. So I'm getting to those days now with summer's coming. So I have to start mentally getting ready for that. Yeah, Christopher, where are you? Are you here in the States? Where are you watching from? All right, guys, here we go. Dune grass. This is a really, really, I you guys can see, it's a really light green color. So this is what I started, so you have an idea. I did do a first coat already. This is the drawer where I took off the hardware that I showed you that I cleaned with the vinegar. I was playing around yesterday, so I wanted to see how this color looked. This is just one coat on the drawer. Yep, I know, right? Isn't this like the best? It is. This is uh, the painting sponge by Country Chic, and it's amazing for painting spindles or those little small areas in like the chairs or tables. Instead of using a brush, you just dip into the paint and brush on, and it goes on so smoothly and so easy. This actually I'm going to use and show you guys how to use it with... Um, Ceiling. When we go into this piece of furniture and we do clear coat, that's what I want to seal it with. I want to show you how to use this painting sponge with the clear coat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing with me. It is, right? It saved my life. I didn't really know it. All these years I've been doing a brush or spray painting. And when these came along, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm hooked. If you guys have never tried these, you know, go ahead. And if you are looking for them, don't know where, I do sell them. They're on my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com. I think they're like, I don't know, $2.95, $3 or something like that. Way worth it. So I'm using them for paint. I'm using them for sealers. I'm using them for glaze. I'm using them in everything. I'm in love with them. All right, you guys. So I hope you can see well there. I try to place the camera in an angle that you're able to see. It's got really long little legs. Alrighty, there we go. So, okay, this is the fun part. I love this part, the painting part. So, make sure I have. So, I like to paint my pieces and leave. This actually just has one little drawer that I took out, but uh, in most cases, leave the drawers on any piece of furniture that you're painting and paint with them in the piece of furniture. Um, it's a great way to make sure that when it's closed, you're not missing out on any areas. Once you paint it, and then you can take them out and you can you know, fix around any edges or clean it out or you know, perfect it. But it's best, the practice is to paint while the drawers are inside the piece, okay? So now you just really dip into the paint and paint. Always do one coat and then wait for it to dry until you go to the second coat. Best that you do thin layers rather than trying to get it all done in one, you know, I don't know, one right away. This paint dries really fast. I mean, I don't know where you are, depending, obviously, if it's very cold, it's gonna 
you know, take a little longer. But here in Florida, because it's all warm and humid, it dries very quickly. So one other great tip is to have what we call a spray mitts bottle. They have them everywhere in Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm gonna also be carrying some on my website. They should be coming soon. So check um, and something from somewhere.com. But it's a spray bottle that you can just squeeze and the water just comes out as a mist. So it's not like a lot of water. And what it does is you can pour it onto your paintbrush or just a little bit on, on the paint that, that you're, on the piece of furniture you're painting. And what it helps is just kind of like smooth out the paint and let it slide again. Because this paint is, dries very fast, it's clay and it's very pigmented. The beautiful is that if it does dry and you want it to just kind of like um, reactivate it, you can always spray and then paint again and you soften it and then you're able to paint over it again. It's really easy to work with. So I'm gonna go over these because I have an idea for the detail later. And if you guys have any ideas, I'm happy to hear, see any suggestions. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna paint this whole piece like I told you guys in just one color. So just to make it simple, to take you from beginning to end and just add a little bit of you know detail using waxes and then sealing it. So you guys can see how easy you saw, you know, we cleaned it and now we're just painting. And then we'll go on to the next steps. So. No need to get all complicated or worried about, I don't know how to paint. We all can paint, you just gotta try it. Yeah, let's see if there's any more comments. All right. So today I worked around my space a little bit, trying to, to find the best spot so you guys could uh, see me so I've moved a few things around my shop. So you can see I put my sign in the back. I, found, I think I kind of like finding still my, my groove. The best way to be able to teach you where you can see me, I can see your comments. So it might look a little bit different today. And do let me know if this setup works for you guys. I love to, I'm always willing to learn and grow. So let me know if this looks good. Hi Vanessa, how are you? Hi you guys, we're painting this beautiful old little vintage secretary's desk that was gifted to me by my girlfriend. She was moving out of her apartment. And I think she's gonna want it afterwards, <laughs> once she sees it. And nope. She can't have it anymore. So I'm painting with country chic paint. And if I didn't tell you guys, this whole little piece here, I'm not gonna do the inside, but this is a four ounce, and that should be plenty. Four ounce jar of clay paint. It really goes a long way. Um, so you don't need a lot either. I mean, this is what I love about this paint. They really, they're so, highly pigmented, which means that, um, you know, the color is very vibrant and they're very rich. So a little bit goes a long way. And, um, which is great, saves you money as well. So we all like that for sure. You like this color? Yeah, thanks, thanks Renee. Awesome, you can see me good, awesome, great. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, that's so good to have you here. Renee is another girlfriend and she's very talented. Talented artist. All right, so, just one coat we're gonna do today, okay you guys? but I want you to get the idea. So for those that are just tuning in, this is a simple tutorial 
showing you how to paint in one color. This secretary Jeff, we're using June Grass by Country Chic Paint. Um, all these products that I'm showing you, I do sell and they are on my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com. And I want to just take my viewers, some of you beginners, and take you through the whole process. We've been working on different um, techniques and we're kind of putting them all together in this piece. Okay, so that was my idea and I mentioned it last Thursday, so I appreciate if you guys are here that you were interested in learning how to do it from beginning to end. So we're going to do this piece. My idea is this color and then paint the inside in a different color. I've chosen this call, a color called crinoline, which is like a whitish grayish. It's a very subtle white. And um, then I want to perhaps white wax the whole piece since we've been working with white wax and show you how it looks after it's white waxed. Um, and then seal it. So we'll see, I haven't decided because if I do do white wax, then I don't use clear wax. And that's something that you will learn as you go because you know wax is oil and clear wax is water-based. So you can clear wax a piece that you've put wax because if not, it just rolls over, it doesn't work. All right, so maybe I just do some white waxing on the detail and there's just clear wax on the rest. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna do the sides. Maybe bring you guys a little bit closer. I need that. This is here. All right, cool. Claudia, yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes, I am painting. This is the piece. If you're just coming in, and I was mentioning to everyone a piece that my girlfriend has gifted me. So this is that little secretary's desk that my friend Claudia gifted me as she was moving out of her home. And we are transforming it into something really beautiful. We are showing everyone and you how you can easily Something that you didn't like, or it's old, or didn't go in your home anymore, or you decor, or didn't know what to do with, and how a little bit of paint can totally make it into a beautiful piece. Hope you guys can see there very well. Let me bring you a little bit closer. And lower this. Hope you could see. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Let me sit over here. Awesome. So do you like this color? Hi, Sean, how are you? And Cindy, welcome. Are you guys liking this color? Yeah? It's called Dune Grass by Country Chic Paint. It's a clay-based, all-in-one decor paint. It's all natural and uh, environmentally friendly, has no solvents. It's food safe, child safe, and uh, really, it's, it's very safe to paint indoors in your home, so there's no need to worry about any toxins. And I use them, I love them. And uh, they're very easy to work with. They have so many choices of colors. I believe it's like 60 different types of colors. Very much. No reason to not find the right color you like. That's for sure. So if any of you are coming in now, let me know where you're watching from. I always love to... I'm always curious to know. 
I'm in Palm City, Florida. We just had a huge rainstorm. But here is like 10 minutes of like a hurricane coming and then poof, it's gone. So weird, but I'm glad that it goes away fast. So, have you guys tried anything yet? I always ask, I know that. But I'm curious, I know some of you are in the business or are very advanced, but many of you are also just starting out. And I really love to um, hear those stories of those of you just starting out and what you've experimented with painting or what if you found that it was easy or not easy or if you have any questions that I can help you with. So um, today I am taking this little secretary's desk that was given to me by a girlfriend um, and I am going to paint it like you see here and transform it and then hopefully sell it. Most of the pieces that I paint on live go on my website or I sell out of my shop. And it's really about, you know, taking something that's old, something unwanted, something no, someone didn't like anymore. I sometimes find pieces on, uh, on garage sales, on thrift stores, and or given away and what you can do with them and then just give them this new life. It's, uh, I don't know, I love it. I love to do that. So what are you working on, Claudia? Outdoor chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did over the fabric as well. Cool. What I taught you. Awesome, awesome. You gotta share that on the page. I wanna see what they turned out. So you enjoyed it, you liked it, huh? Not so bad, huh? I think there's more to the story. Let me see what else you wrote. It worked great, yeah. Okay, cool, great, great, great. Because yeah, I didn't hear the end. So I, went, I saw you starting it, but I wasn't sure if you finished it, if you had enough paint, and uh, how was the whole experience. So awesome. If you love it, that's what makes me happy, and that you tried it. So now you know, now you know. You can do this, and you'll be hooked. Because this is addictive. Once you get started, you can't stop. You want to paint everything. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but I'm like, bring it on. I'll paint it. <laughs> okay, you're still working on it. All right, cool. It was easy. Awesome. Great. Great, great, great. It's really all about having the right tools and good products, you guys. I mean, just like anything. I have tried before with, you know, trying to, I don't know, sometimes you want to save money, but you end up spending a lot more because it doesn't come out the right way. Um, just like anything in life, you know, the tools and the products that you use is, you know, the, the best costs less. That's my motto. And um, the great thing about also these paints is not so much that it's, you know, so expensive. I've actually uh, found the medium where I can find great products for good prices, but then there are certain things that I feel that is worth paying a little bit more because if it's going to be in your home, you want to enjoy it for many years and you don't want something falling apart and uh, you know, like with paint, just like anything. So these products are really great priced and they're super quality products. I use top brands. I have chosen them through years of me trying things out. I have finally think that I have, I've got this, I've got this right. And uh, this is with all the products, the transfers and the molds and the brushes that I use and the paints that I use. Um, so, if you guys, you know, I really, really, I'm proud of what I carry and I take it on fully. If you have questions and you don't know how to use them, I'm always here to help and answer any questions. You can email me at info at somethingfromsomewhere.com. My info is there also if you need to call me and I'm, I'm on it. I usually answer you right away. For any reason I can't, I will answer you though um, within a couple of hours. All right. So... This is gonna be um, a two part because obviously I'm not gonna be able to finish it all today. At least the first coat is what I wanna try to, to do today. And next Thursday, uh, we'll go and do the second coat. And I may have a surprise, we'll see. Second coat, but I'm still not sure about the inside. I know I'm gonna paint it, but I may do something else inside of it. So we'll see. 
It has to hit me, it hasn't yet, so I'm still thinking about it. So this color, if you guys are wondering, it's called dual grass. It's like a greenish, bluish color. Very subtle, but very beautiful. I think you can see it there. There you go. Hi, Carla. Welcome. I am today painting the secretary's desk that was gifted to me, and I am so thankful that she did. <laughs> and I am showing you guys a simple tutorial on using just one paint color from beginning to end, how to transform any piece of furniture Practically just with one color paint, not having to get too complicated. Let me try to turn this around so I can show you the other side. By the way, um, this little piece, Claudia, if you're still there, Claudia is the person, my friend, who gifted it to me. The piece was a little bit wobbly. It was in great shape, but it did need a little bit of work on tying up the legs, and I did. And now it's great, pretty much. It was a wood glue, and I just kind of glued it and uh, left it overnight, and it worked great, because now it's nice and sturdy. You made it. Yes, Carla, I'm so glad you did. You're one of my consistent viewers, and we miss you when you're not here. All right, let me try to turn this around more. I didn't want to lift it up on the table because it's really, really high. It's got, you guys can't tell from here yet, but it's got really long little legs. So um, probably for the next live, I'll lift it up. We'll see so you can see the bottom. But I wanted you guys to just see how easy. We just cleaned it with a spray bottle with water and vinegar, then cleaned off any excess with a damp cloth wait for it to dry. If it uh, had any types of bruise or any damage like on the wood, not obviously deep humongous, you know, damage, because that's another story, but if it's scratched, you know, by the use, usage of, you know, long time wear, um, just sand off with a 220. This is what we did, I showed you. What did I do with it? I used a 220 grit sanding paper or block and you just sand over it lightly and then clean it off any excess any dust with another um, damp cloth and that's it and then you just start painting there's really no other prep to do this paint is clay based and it is an old in one decor paint it's nice and rich so it's very it slides on easily and covers really great. So it may take two, yeah, it will. It's gonna take two um, coats, probably. This is the first coat. We'll have part two of this next Thursday, but I wanted you guys to see that one coat goes a long way. We're only using a four ounce little jar and it's gonna paint this whole piece. And I'm still gonna have leftover, believe me. So, um, what about oils, Carla? What's your question? See if I can understand it. Something about oils. All the way. Okay, so after you, after I finish all the pieces, they're sealed. I sealed all of my pieces. Um, supposedly, with this paint, you don't need to because they already come with sealers in them, but I always double seal my pieces. So that's a choice, but I do recommend it. 
especially if it's going to be a piece that is going to be used, um, you know, in very trafficy areas. Always seal them. I use different sealers for different pieces, so that's really a matter of choice. Um, I would say most of the pieces I seal with clear coat, which is a medium, medium to strong coat. And then for something that is really going to be used a lot, I use a tough coat. Waxes are for more pieces that are more maybe for show. Uh, let's say something that is not constantly being touched, opened, you know, uh, place things on. And um, then I would use wax for like, um, uh, let's say a TV stand. Maybe the TV is just on the top and that's it. Uh, I probably would use it for like a walk-in entrance piece which you probably just come in and you put your purse on but um, I think you get the idea right so to clean them I don't clean with any chemicals whatsoever all of these uh, sealers it's gonna take at least a three to four week time for it to cure and that means for it to actually be uh, you know usable it's not that you can use it you know right away but you have to be very careful because it's still probably soft um, and you don't want to you know leave any rings or any stuff that you put on top to be um, you know left behind so I would wait um, to really start using it you know three to four weeks to, to put stuff on it that would be the time for it to fully be cured okay to be on the safe side so to clean is just with a damp cloth and water. I mean, really, uh, it's not raw wood anymore where, or, or those finishes, you know, that need to put those oils on them to give them moist, you know, to moisturize them. These are already with the paint, they receive the moisture already and they're the sealers. So it's, uh, it really gives a beautiful finish to the piece. So if I were to really clean them, it's either with a white, uh, I'm sorry, with a damp cloth with a, just a little bit of water. And the other that I do recommend, maybe like, oh my gosh, maybe once every six months, if anything, is hemp oil, which is a natural cleaner, moisturizer, and safe, also natural. Hemp oil cleaners for furniture. Um, I do have those also, in case you were wondering where to get that. Uh, they're they're amazing. I mean, they're 100% pure natural hemp oil cleaners for your furniture. And they're, um, let me see, I think I have some here. Let me just show you this one. So, look. So it's all natural hemp oil. And you just pour it on a piece of dry cloth and you just go over it with the furniture and just let it dry and that's it so yeah damp cloth water and this probably i don't know once every six months you don't need much okay so i hope i've answered your question awesome perfect all right so let me just do this before it dries completely ah which is also um brings me to that if for any reason you feel that you know, it dries quickly, too quickly, and you want to smooth it out a little bit, I recommend um, a misting bottle, water bottle. It's a mister. You guys can see how you just squeeze and the water keeps coming out. It's not like a whole lot of water. It's just a little bit. It helps reactivate the dry paint, and then it helps you smooth out the paint again when you go over it. This is another great trick of the trade if you want to call it it works right with the clay paint if you brush dries too quickly and you need a little help you can always mist it a little bit with a spray bottle but it's a spray bottle that has a mister so it's a little bit different than any regular you know spray bottle it mists so when you squeeze it and you let go it still keeps coming out but it's very light hi Maria Rosa welcome Welcome to my Facebook Live. I am showing you from beginning to end how to paint this beautiful little vintage secretary's desk with uh, one color 
and then we're going to either wax it or seal it and do a little bit of work on the detail that it has in the front and perhaps paint the inside in a different color. I'm not sure yet. So this is now putting all that I have shown you guys from the beginning and kind of like just going through the whole process from cleaning it to painting it to sealing it. So if you have a little piece at home or any kind of piece of furniture that you want to give it a new life, you can see how easy and what the process is to do it. It really doesn't take much, just the time and the imagination to do it. Okay, I think I've got this. We're just gonna do a, a first coat. Always best that you only do a light one first, then to try to finish it off quickly and going on too thick. If you have a smooth, nice finish, it's best that you do thin coat instead of thick coat. Okay, I think we got this part. Look at you, well, I add decals of transfers. Well, Carla, um, actually that was something I was thinking. Because I've been showing you like the different stages on, on different techniques, and I've shown you how to use the transfers and the molds and painting and waxing, I wanted to incorporate this little piece with everything that I've shown you so far. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking maybe, and that's what I was actually, I mentioned earlier today, I may have a surprise for you, but I wasn't sure. But since you're asking now, perhaps I do. So you know what? If you do, um, I will do that. Maybe something on the inside. I was thinking maybe in here. You know, paint the inside and then do something here. What do you think? Do you like a transfer there? It would look really cute. You're right on. Would you like to see that? Let me know if you want me to do a, a transfer. It's not gonna be today because I do have to paint it and wait for it to be really dry before I can do that. So we'll get to that second part. This is going to be a part one of probably a series of two or three videos until we finish it. So we'll get onto that next, next week. But today I just wanted to go through the beginning process of what you needed to clean it and how to clean it. Paint it, what that entails. And then, you know, waxing or sealing, but we're going to do a little bit more because we're gonna paint the inside and perhaps you do the transfer, then I'm thinking it will be a great idea. So it's just gonna be a little bit of a process, but I wanna use everything that I've shown you so far. What do you think? You wanna see that? Yeah, good idea, okay. All right, awesome, I'll do that, I'll do that. All right, so let me turn this little guy around. Believe it or not, the paint is, it's, it's, it's dry already. It's very dry. It's crazy how fast it dries, this paint. But also, it's so humid here today, you guys. I don't know about you, where you are, in what parts of the world. But Florida, we are getting that heat and it's coming on strong. All right, so okay, so as I mentioned to you guys earlier, um, if you missed it, it's always best whenever you paint any kind of furniture that you leave the drawers and everything on because it's gonna make, um, I don't know, really, it, it, it's gonna cover any areas that you may have missed by taking the drawers out, believe it or not, when you actually leave the drawers in it helps you make sure that it's going to look good when the drawers are in sometimes it happens as weird as that may sound that when you take the drawers out and you paint and then you put the drawers in you actually miss uh spaces to paint so leave them on and then clear out any any 
paint that came out in places that you didn't want, but pretty much leave them on. It's always best. And heavy oils, yes, the paint projects should be done in good ventilated area. Any heavy oil? No, 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 Claudia, I, I mean, I'm sorry, Carla, not at all. These are environmentally friendly and they're biodegradable and they practically have no odor. So they are totally, totally safe to paint indoors. And you don't even need ventilation at all. I mean, you can paint inside. Uh, they are certified uh, environmentally friendly and they have no solvents, no toxins. Um, and I mean, totally that they can show you proof that they've gone through like rigorous um, tests so no worries about any odors or having to ventilate wherever you are, okay? Awesome. So I'm gonna just go over this little space here. And any stuff that may come out, let's say for example, I'm not gonna want this even though, even though I'm gonna paint over it, but if for any reason you wanted to clean it off, you can always, they're water-based, so if you get a wet, a wet cloth with water, you can always take it off. Look how easy this is. See how I like did this part that came through? I don't want it. It is totally manual so easy came off look at that awesome huh okay so i'm just doing the little border here So this is just one coat for today. And uh, I'm thinking in the inside to do the crinoline color, which is this um, white, kind of like grayish inside here. And then do perhaps a transfer, which Carla also suggested. I think it will look really pretty. I think it will look really, really nice. <laughs> Love my birdie sounds. Oh, I have to um, show you guys. I, have a, I do have a bird. His name is Sky. And uh, I haven't been able to clip his wings because, you know, places have been closed. So he hears me talk and he starts going beep, 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 beep. So I'm glad you like it, but some people I think can be annoyed by it, so I apologize. So I'm just gonna do this little border here and we'll continue next week. ahead this is how I tried out if I like the color yesterday I painted this part already so for those of you that missed it um, I showed you at the beginning of the video how great it is to clean hardware with just vinegar not even water. So vinegar and water to clean any pieces of furniture on a spray bottle. So, you know, I take, I buy the vinegar like this, you guys. I buy it in huge bulks. And then I put it in here. I put some water and I put vinegar. You make it as strong or as light as you want. So I like it pretty strong. 
and I spray my pieces and then I grab, grab a damp cloth and I clean it off, let it dry and start painting. With the hardware, I actually leave it overnight. So let me show you what I did. I have this plastic jar and I fill it with vinegar. This is already dirty because what I did was leave the hardware inside. And this was what it originally looked like. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of like, eh, kind of oldie, sad looking, no shine to it. And if you like it that way, by all means, of course, some people do. But I wanted to clean it out and find out what the true color of it is, because sometimes you will be surprised. It starts out as a color, and then when you put it in the vinegar, it comes out totally another color, and you're like, oh my God, that was beautiful. So look at this. It's a bronze color, a really beautiful goldish bronze. So before and after. Which one do you like more? This is the one that I cleaned and left overnight. So I left it overnight in vinegar and then I came back this morning and just with a cloth, I just started buffing it. I pretty much just started buffing it this way and brought out the shine. Look how beautiful. Yep, with vinegar, that's it. All right, you guys, so um, I think I'm going to let you go. See what time it is. Let me just do a recap of what I used. So today we painted this secretary's desk. It was a simple tutorial on how to paint it from beginning to end. We're going to have this uh, second part to this video next Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So today we painted it in one color called Dune Grass by Country Chic Paint. It's a clay-based, only one decor paint. It's really a beautiful greenish, bluish, vintage color. We painted it with dune grass. This is a four ounce jar. And we used an oval synthetic brush by Paint Pixie. This is number 10 called Create. We also used some water and vinegar to clean the piece. And we are going to continue next week and we're gonna do a second coat. I am thinking that I am going to do a little bit of the wax or white wax on the detail here because we've already talked about white wax, so maybe reviewing it so you guys can see what it will look like with the white wax now that we've started from the beginning. I'm going to paint the inside in another color called crinoline. We'll do that next time and perhaps do a transfer. So that's going to be a surprise. I have to choose it. We'll see. If you guys go on my website and you see a, a transfer you like, let me know. Um, if I have it here in the shop, I probably do because I have all the transfers here in the shop. Um, I'll put it on and I'll show you. And uh, then we'll seal it. So if you have any questions, you guys, any of the products, um, they are on my website. I carry them all. And um, that's at somethingfromsomewhere.com. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And I am so happy that you were here, all here watching today. And I hope that I have inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful. So until next time, have a wonderful night. Be safe. Good night. Bye-bye.